Hello everyone, welcome back to D&D &D and Me, and we are on the Trial Elite Warrior. So, I already did the entire lore of the 5th edition Monster Manual uh, for the Drow last video, so if you are interested in that, please go to see last video. Uh, but this is the lore on the Elite Warrior, and that's in the stat block, so getting straight into that. Drow Elite Warriors defend their houses and their superiors against all enemies. Although they specialize in fighting dwarves, gnomes, and elves, and including other drow, they frequently raid surface settlements under cover of night, returning to the Underdark with prisoners and spoils until before dawn. Elite warriors can be male or female, excuse me. I am surprised that they said that specifically. But remember, males listen to the females, and the females are always in the highest roles position. So, ha, get fucked. Uh, drow elite warrior, humanoid, medium, elf, obviously, neutral, evil, I said that hella backwards, uh, has studded leather armor and shield, so the AC is 18, health point average is 71, 11, D8, plus 22, and a movement speed of 20, 30, I'm sorry, I was thinking of 22, uh, strength of 13, plus 1, dexterity of 18, plus 4, way stronger than the other one, uh, constitution of 14, plus 2, intelligence of 11, plus 0, wisdom of 13, plus 1, and charisma of 12, plus 1, the proficient saving throws are Dexterity, 7, Constitution, 5, and Wisdom, 4, meaning it's a plus 3 to proficiency bonus. Its proficient skills are Perception, 4, and Stealth, 10. They have Dark Vision up to 120 feet and Pass Perception, 14. They speak Elvish and Undercommon, Challenge Rating, 5, 1,800 experience points. They have Fey Ancestry. Uh, innate spell casting is the same, except they have the spell DC of 12. They still have dancing lights at will, uh, one day each of darkness, fairy fire, and levitate on themselves early. Uh, they still have sunlight sensitivity, which is the same amongst them all. Um, Multi-attack, the drow makes two short swords attacks. Melee weapon attack, plus seven to hit. Reach of five feet, one target only. Seven average, one d6 plus four piercing damage, plus ten average, three d6 poison damage. Uh, I think it's... Same. No, it is not. The hand crossbow is a ranged weapon attack, plus 7 to hit, range of 30 to 120 feet, 1 target only, 7 average, 1d6 plus 4 piercing damage, and the target must see, succeed a DC 13 constitution saving throw or a potion, poison, about to say potion, poison for 1 hour. If the target fails a saving throw by 5 or more, it is unconscious while poisoned in this manner, and it only wakes up if it takes damage or someone else takes an action to shake it awake, and it has a reaction, it's called parry. Uh, the drow adds three to its AC against one melee attack that would hit it. To do so, the drow must see the attacker and be wielding a melee weapon, so, ha, can't do it with the hand crossbow, and it must see it coming, so it can't be blinded, and it has to be facing it, probably. So it's probably not like coming up the back and getting stabbed in the ass, you know, like, it has to see it. So, that, I would definitely put that as a DM, as something like that's important. Anyway, that is it for the video, and uh, please, Leave a like and subscribe as I bring you more D&D content in the future. Uh, I have literally nothing else to say because I forgot, so I'll see you all in the next video.